Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. You may have seen in my previous videos on the GPD Win 3 that I was automatically changing the TDP if the device was on battery or plugged in. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this particular video. Now, I was doing this myself in leveraging Cypher's own bat file. When you run the TDP batch file itself, any particular choice that we make here, you know, you can go through in any of the options. Let's just do 11 watt right now. So I just pushed 8 and it will have gotten to it will have created a batch file and it was labeled TDP sleep. So previously what I was doing is I would like rename this either docked or undocked so that I had a batch file that would be referenced from the scheduler based on events with some other modifiers. Cypher basically did the work that I had done and now includes that for you. So this entire process is way simpler now. So before I was going to show you a lengthy process on how to set up your own test scheduler and all the other bits, but Right now, I'm going to be showing you what he has done and what you need to do. So there is a new batch file called doc setup. Now, this has to be run inside the same directory that your batch files exist, that Cypher's batch files. So if we go here, it's going to start asking you some questions. You can see right here, it says, if you want 5 watt, you should enter 5,000. And if you want... 15.5 watt, you should enter 15500 and so on. So for this particular setting, you can see it's telling us that it's asking us for docked and PL1. So while it's docked, we're going to do the max TDP that I really recommend for the 1165G7 version, which is 35 watt. Now this is what my device will change to. All right, so now I have defined the wattage of what the TDP will be on the device when the device is plugged in right here. And now it's asking us what the undocked settings are. So what type of TDP do we want when it's on battery? And my preference is 15 watt for the GPU in 3 when running on battery. This gives us a worst case scenario of two hours of battery life on the GPU in 3 It can go up to six hours of battery life depending on the game, like Dead Cells. So don't think that the two hours is 100% what you're going to get. It's just that if you play a demanding game with 15 watt, you will get two hours. And likewise, if a game that is not demanding, you'll get more. All right, so now in this particular setting, this has to be updated. This is like a, a beta bat file that Cypher has sent to me. You can see that the Y indicator, there is no actual information. We do want to say Y here. So if we jump into, not hardware info, if we jump into test scheduler, we click refresher, you can see that there's nothing here. You can see that the TDB folder already exists because I put uh, Cypher's batch file put them there previously. If I just press Y to this and say yes, that went ahead and created these schedules. So you can see them right here. So we have docked and undocked. I'll go ahead and close that. And more importantly, you can see that I have a docked bat and an undocked bat here. So now let's test how this works when we're running Heaven. All right, so this device is running at 11 watt because that's what I set it to previously. Now, if I remove this, it will set it to 15 watt. Additionally, Cypher has a little sound that plays just so that you can verify that the change actually completed. And there's the sound, 15 watt right there. And now we're going to plug it back in. As soon as you hear the sound, it will have finished. And now we're going to go to 30 watt right, uh, 35 watt right there. Alrighty, so this is going to be the end of this particular how-to video. It's pretty simple. Thank you very much to Cypher for actually doing this part of the bat. It would have been a, a lengthy process for me to show all of you guys how to do it all on test, test scheduler. But having it in the bat is a lot more official. Additionally, the sound that Cypher chose is a very official sounding sound. Uh, <laughs> I particularly enjoy it. Just like having it as confirmation, I didn't think it was a big deal, but it is actually super cool. And um, it just makes you just have that confirmation that you... I didn't know that I wanted, but I definitely do now. So right now the device is working at 15 watt. And when I plug it back in, it's going to go to 35 watt. So this is really ideal in terms of what you guys want. And I would recommend that you guys check this out. I am going to be having this batch file in the description field eventually. Instead, I'm immediately going to have a link for the Discord link because Cypher updates his batch file often, and you're going to want to get the latest version as he updates it. Um, and he just keeps on updating it, and it gets more and more feature rich for a batch file, which is ridiculous, but also awesome. Anywho.
that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you very much to Cypher. As always, guys, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching.